we briefly talked about what happened during COVID um, and how that's obviously abnormal, right? It's it served the self storage industry greatly. However, in 2023, we started to see everything start to come back to normal. How do you see the market is going to go uh, moving forward after 2023? Yeah, the last year, um, you know, Storable as a company services about 40,000 facilities between all of their products. And that includes things like payment processors, software, spare foot, anything that they touch, paid or, paid or tenant insurance. And so they have the largest database of um, statistics for the industry than really anyone else can touch. And so they had their storable cab meeting, which is their client advisory board, take their largest clients, you meet uh, for a couple of days and they go through all sorts of industry trends. And this was back in the fall uh, of this past year. And so we met with them and they shared that, uh, you know, for the first time uh, that since it had been tracked, we didn't have a busy season in 2023. So normally you get to April through about August, that's the time we, we lease up units. And for the first time, the move in move out ratio was negative during those months. And that never happens for the, you not only uh, where occupancy is lowering, but because of that you have to chase the rental rates down to be able to make up for that occupancy. Well, then all of a sudden ancillary revenue um, wasn't possible because you're chasing rates. We saw uh, for the SSA demand study that, that came out in March of last year, um, for the first time ever, price is the number one reason people rent. It's like 82 or 83 percent of people are renting because of price. And for ever since I've been in the business, price was like the fourth or fifth reason that people choose storage facilities. Well, then that completely feeds right back into lowering rental rates and seeing that piece go. Well, now all of a sudden facilities aren't worth as much. Cap rates are going uh, back up. And so I think one of the, the interesting fallout pieces we're seeing is all of the people who overpaid for storage facilities, who bought on a high thinking it was going to continue. Um, they paid too much compared to what it was worth that are now having to retrade come right back to the marketplace and get out of these deals um, either at cost or even losing money. Well, it's good for people with money and opportunity. If you weren't one of those people that overpaid and you played the market well and you were safe, well, then we have all sorts of opportunity. And we've, I think personally, we've bought probably 27 sites in the last, you know, eight months or so to a year where most people have tried to not buy, but you got to be smart about the changes and when they happen to take advantage of them. And this is a great reminder moving forward. You need to plan for what's realistic, not for what's happening today in the industry, but what's probably going to happen. The good news I'll leave that point with is interest rates are going to start coming back down. The feds have promised that that should start this month. Um, so you're going to see some of that normalized. The lower mortgage rates are, the more people are going to move. And we've had the biggest growth in occupancy and revenue in the last three months than we had uh, throughout our 200 stores than we have in the last year. So we're already seeing the market turn um, dramatically, which is obviously great for everybody in the business.